Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. And Georgia and I are busy looking at different exciting Cape brandies. So if you watch the, the YouTube video that we posted on Cape brandy and the 12 facts, you will really understand why this category is just growing from strength to strength sure, absolutely in South Africa. Is. And uh, the brandy we've got here, actually George is going to open it for us. We haven't tasted ourselves, no, so no, we're we very haven't. excited. No, we and it's a brandy produced by Charles Whittington, a astute man in the industry, somebody I hold in, in very um, high regards, uh, look up to him as somebody that, that's so resourceful when it comes to wine. So, which is also led to the name Voorkamer. Um, Say again? Voorkamer. For, that's front, front so room, it, isn't it's, it? It's the front room of the house in Afrikaans. And, and Charles felt very strongly about, you know, sticking to the South African heritage of where brandy came from, Potsdam brandy particularly, and he really wanted to play with an Afrikaans name. But if you think about Voorkamer, you think about, well, there was the Darling Festival, Voorkamer, where the... You told me about it yes, this morning, which yes. I never knew about. Oh, I loved it. It was, it was such a highlight on the calendar, and we, a lot of the excitement and the theatre actually happened in the Voorkamer. But then Charles um, also said, like, you know, it also reminds him of, you know, the opposite cast. Are you oh. familiar as an Englishman with the opposite cast? Englishman? Well, it's Italian. No. Greek. <laughs> Greeks, Italian, don't know <laughs> for cast. I don't know what you call it. Not for cast. <laughs> <laughs> opposite cast. Okay. So when in the olden days, um, when chivalry and, and courtship was, you know, part of the whole process of finding the, the right husband. So a lady, if this, if this was quite a potential young man, she, he would get like a long candle that would burn. But who would bring the candle out? The, the lady mom, or the, the mom? mom? The mom, the So the mom, mom would judge the chance of that son getting into the family by the size of the candle. <laughs> Probably. How big was my candle then? <laughs> my dad gave you a proper candle. <laughs> So, and uh, if you weren't really uh, potential, I, I suppose you got a very small little candle and your time ran out very quickly. So, candle burns out, that's it. And you forgot carbon. Okay. But I think also, it also goes back, the name also goes back to a place where you sit and reminisce about life and about the day where brandy is, you also like to call it a reflective drink. Sure. It is made with time. And it also asks you to spend time with it. It's not something you want to drink as a cocktail, as a mix. Well, no. not specifically, not this brandy that no. we're talking about. No. You really want to spend time with it and, and taste that in the sip. So it's a sipping, savoring drink. So this specific brandy um, is, is eight years, French and American, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, you know, we had a look at a couple of brandies and this is comes across as, as really a deep color. And that's, that's all oak related. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. What I love when I'm sitting here at the end of it, it's got this golden hue. When I come here, it's got a, it's got a more of an orangey hue and it's not even the cherries that's reflecting there. And, and yesterday we had so much fun. We, there was a beautiful floral quality that, you know, when I read the tasting notes and I thought of curry and we looked at um, different curry spices and how that will echo that kind of sweet, beautiful daintiness of the brandy. But then the cherries came out last night when we thought about nougat, nougat with cherries. When that you have like a, the it? tart cherry yeah. that will just pick up in the tartness of the brandy. Or think of pavlova. Sure. So whether you want to go savory so or sweet for that matter. Or sweet Can I, sorry, I've just come up with something. Can you imagine a lovely, beautiful Black forest cake with those cherries on the inside. Yum. With this brandy. Well, can I taste it and see? Mm. All First, right. So, on the... And that wild cherry nose is certainly coming through. With stone fruit. I think I've got a lot of stone fruit. And Tula's going to come and make a present. I can even get dried cranberry, but there's definitely a lot of delicate fruit nuances. It is not as plush as a lot of brandies can be. It's quite... So there's a little bit of austerity that I love about it. Sure, sure. I'm on the palette. An orange blossom, cherry blossom. Hey, it quite works, eh? So, again, everything happens on that mid palette, Sam. Mm. All the flavors, all the components, all the complexity comes together on that mid palette. And it's very, very chic on the palette. There's a sweetness from the alcohol. 
but it's not caramelized sweetness. It's not a it's not a um, flabby sweetness. It's quite a linear sweetness. I like it. I like yeah. it. It's not a flabby sweetness. Yeah, yeah. So, so good. that's why you can add some sweetness. That's why dessert will work sure. very well. But that's why a creamy curry would also go Perfect. exceptionally well. Because it's got the freshness. It has to be the creaminess. Sam, so yeah, I don't know if there's anything else you want. I mean, we could talk about this wine forever. However, there's just something I, caught my eye. That look amazing. The sun. So I'm going to read this. Fine brandy is born in the vineyard, grows in the distillation process, matures in the barrels and reaches perfection in the final blending of the individual cars. I mean, that is literally in a nutshell. Really well, if you, if, if you take so much pride in describing something like that, it explains why you used the family crest. They, they actually found the original drawing that was then transferred to this label. And looking at this chessboard, I actually thought like, you know what, when you think about reflecting on life in the day, can I challenge you to a game of chess? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> I must first learn to play it. Anyways, <laughs> right, so thank you very, very much, Charles, for this uh, very special opportunity. Uh, we certainly look forward in experimenting with this brandy with different foods, uh, stylistically, with different temperatures, different glassware. We love it. By the way, beautiful glassware. Thank you very much. And yeah, uh, let's see where this goes, where this journey, the interesting journey takes us. Very exciting. And uh, cheers, and a not to okay brandy for putting this exquisite product like right in the spotlight for the world to see what we can do. Cheers, everybody. Cheers.